and welcome back to Cave House 11 o'clock evening news. Uh, well, Bob, I bet you never thought twice about riding an escalator. No, I'll admit I haven't. <laughs> You'll change your mind after hearing this. Numerous serious injuries have been linked to escalators around the world. This video clip gives one example of how these moving escalators can be extremely dangerous. You. Love and life. I just keep falling. Ouch. The man in this video got his shoelace stuck in the escalator and now in critical condition in a nearby hospital. He is suing the department store for fifty million dollars and a new pair of shoelaces. Tragic. Simply tragic. What you don't know can hurt you. <laughs> A new study shows that butter may cause cancer. Researchers found that 65% of all people who develop cancer regularly eat butter. <laughs> also, scientists have discovered certain forms of sugar, uh, soda, toothpaste, and purple M&Ms are possible causes of cancer. It is advised that you continue to not consume or use these items, and wait until further notice from the medical profession. Scientists are worried about a new breed of killer squirrels. <laughs> it seems that squirrels in Hallisville, Montana have shown an increase in aggressiveness during the past few weeks. Let's go to Jill, who's in the field now. Thanks, Jane. I'm here with Hank Miller from the local lumber company. Hey, oh, tell me uh, Hi, Jill. I was just cutting wood, as I'm known to do, because I'm a lumberjack. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, I heard this screeching sound. I thought it was the familiar word of a chainsaw, but it was indeed a dangerous squirrel. It leapt upon me, and my friends scared it off. But I have heard of two other incidents. Frankly, I'm scared for my life. Back to you, Jane. <laughs> Environmentalists are warning folks in the northern region of the U.S. to stay away from the forested areas for the time being and to please report any additional attacks. Shame. And to think, I used to find those furry creatures cute. <laughs> <laughs> heard the phrase casually said to children as they board the train of sleeping time to go to slumberland. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Who would have thought that this phrase may contain an element of truth? Scientists have found a bug, a parasite within mattresses, and they've called it the bed bug. When viewed under a microscope at nearly 100,000 times its original size, it is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Here's a pic released to the press. <laughs> I don't know about you, Shane, but I don't have any bed bugs in my bed. I do. Um, me neither. <laughs> Let's go to our reporter in the field, expert entomologist Walter Wiggins. Walter. So I'm not really sure if that rash is going to heal. Walter, enough. can you hear us? Uh, I think we're having some technical difficulties. So, oh, hi! Hi, Bob! Okay, so bed bugs, right? Okay, get this. Frightening. They're known as the Scorpius Scarus, okay? Oh, right. And they, I'll tell you this, get your act together, bunny. <laughs> Very frightening, right? They're known to carry bacteria and infectious diseases. Walter, our viewers are asking the question, what can we do to protect ourselves from these vicious parasites? Oh, not much, Bob, not much. <laughs> but while we're determining if they're lethal, uh, me and my assistant, Bunny, have come up with a foolproof plan, saran wrap. So pretend this small sectional wall and my assistant 
are a victim of the bed bugs. Just wrap as such. Make sure you boil it thoroughly first. Yes, I think I know my assistant, honey. Won't be dealing with any bed bugs anytime soon. Back to you, bud. Thank you, Walter and Bunny. Sounds like a very effective way to handle this problem. Me, I don't know about you, but after work, I'm going to get into my car, drive to the store, and load up on saran wrap. I'll be stocking up on saran wrap as well, Bob. That's all we have time for tonight. Tomorrow, on Special Edition, Strike by Lightning. What's your purpose, and how do you protect yourself? And, are you afraid of something? Science, scientists have discovered that this may actually be affecting your health. Tomorrow on KPOW. Sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs bite you. <laughs>